Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I'd like to greet you by saying welcome. Hey there, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to come on in, have a seat. Come with your higher self, discern what messages are for you and what's not. Please leave it on the table for somebody else to take. I do pick up on the energies. I'm just the messenger. Please don't shoot. But if you should so happen to decide to shoot whatever type of energy you're coming in with at me and the Divine Collective, we need you to know that we support that energy because we have spiritual amnesty. This is the truth. Come in with your higher self. If you're returning back to the channel, listen, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Keep on moving. Don't stop like the hands of time. You out here glowing and showing. <laughs> Spirit is like, keep on moving. Don't stop. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. <laughs> Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Don't stop. This is the message, Divine Collective. It is the living word. This is what's happening for us right now as we speak. It's a fact. It's a real spiritual download. And it's becoming more and more evident every single second of the hour, every single hour of the day. You're being discussed in the ethers. There's a lot of people discussing us in the ethers, and we appreciate that attention. Yeah. Needless to say, listen, I know you've called in your appropriate protection. I've done that already before coming to the video. This is a big ascension. It's really nice and soothing to be with my soul tribe. Yeah, somebody's a slow moving energy. Okay, just thank God that somebody's not you. Hello there, highest of white light, source of all things that lives on the inside of me. And for the most part, everything that is divine in creation, the most high creator, omnipresent force and or source of all things. Listen, welcome to this reading. Somebody's in the seven of swords energy. I don't feel as though it's like sneaky and deceptive like what you might think. It's like uh, they're hiding the fact that they want to come towards you. The reason I say that is because the Queen of Wands is here, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius. Sneaky and deceptive, like hiding their feelings, though. Appearing to be like up to more than what they're actually up to, right? It's like somebody, you know, looking like they're doing something, but they really don't have much going on. And they don't want to admit that they want to return. They're very, very stubborn in this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I just heard the Love Chronicles. Okay, well, that's what Spirit wanted to come out by way of this energy. So somebody's hiding the fact that they really want to come towards you, that eventually they do see you as the end all be all to what it is that they believe is their wishes being fulfilled by way of the Nine of Cups. Okay, Queen of Wands definitely could be a feminine and or a masculine. If you watch enough tarot and you're tarot educated, then you know that a masculine can embody the queen of wands and vice versa. There is no gender in tarot. Nine of pentacles is very, very slow, you know? Let's hope this person makes it back on time. And even if they do, we're going to check in to see what the energy says about you even being open to this type of an invite or this type of what appears to be persuasion. Yes, yeah, like somebody saying, swing, swing my way. You know, they're trying to will... Uh, things in their favor by way of being this slow moving energy but but it, but it appears as though they're hiding how they feel right okay about the fact that they want to come in the ace of wands this represents new beginnings this represents something that is divinely meant to be this is how this person is feeling whether they are the one we don't know we're still getting into the energy let's find out what is it that okay well spirit guides all right my all right well listen Somebody's got something to say. I cannot make it up. Listen, I can't make it up. Did I not just say somebody wants to come back and have a new beginning? The lovers is here. The ace of wands, this person sees this union as divine, something they can't live without, honestly. 
Something about not having access to you in their immediate presence has pushed them into some type of, uh, I get a stubbornness, but in a way that somebody's preparing themselves to come back, like letting uh, um, enough time go by to let the fire die down. This is what I feel, right? It's quite strategic. This person could have found out by way of this Ace of Wands that you are um, there in their lives and or with them or you were with them maybe you're in separation but they're understanding that there is a special spiritual contract here maybe they didn't realize that or I feel as though this was the same energy that they were in and this could be the reason that you got into the eight of cups energy I just feel um yeah this person's in that been around the world and I I, I, I can't I can't find my baby <laughs> type of an energy I don't know, and I don't know where, where he's gone away, but I don't know where she could be. My baby, but I'm going to find him. This is the energy. That's the download. It's very specific. It's very precise. Listen, that was a little musical commercial break. The lovers, this person is, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Leo energy, they could have this fire highly aspected in their chart the queen of wands is giving me the leo energy uh this also gives me the strength you know this person is more enamored with your strength than they are the spiritual contract that needs to be fulfilled now let's just see if they can even come in to have a conversation with you yeah you're like hell to the no the fool card came out upside down you're not taking a leap of faith you're not betting on this person you feel as though based on what you've gone through in these death cycles whoever you are that the stakes are spiritually far too high far too costly for you to go back into some situation where you end up looking like the fool yeah the ten of cups you could have wanted everything with this person you could have had a family with this person you could have treated this person really really nice this person won't forget the way you made them feel, I just heard, even though they could have been uh, very non-receptive, non-committal to what it is that you were putting down. Listen, this person is really going through it, okay? Now, I don't feel as though, Divine Collective, that this is a surprise to you. This is a confirmation. So if you're feeling a little pull and a tug here and there, it's really just the soul tie breaking because the contract's over. So this person could be stuck. They want to come back in. I see this person wanting to present themselves as being somebody new. Knowing that you're in this Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy. For my Divine Masculines, y'all ain't taking the BS no more. And somebody wants to come back in brand new. But it's not an option. And they know that there's definitely been some form of a breakup. Okay? There's definitely been some form of a breakup. This could be permanent and or temporary situation. This is the part where we all implement our free will. Let's have a commercial break. Listen, I can't tell you what to do, but what the hell is this, honey? Boom, hell to the no. It's a no for me in spirit. This is what I'm getting, Divine Collective, on this beautiful motherfucking, excuse my language, but don't excuse my language, commercial break. You know why? Because if the Ten of Cups is in reverse and the Fool is in reverse and somebody pushed the Divine Being to get to this point, by way of where they had to say, I will never take a leap of faith with you. And I'm certain of that. I treated you like family. Here lies the separation. I don't know if somebody's going to give somebody a second chance to kick them up in the ass. Kick them up the ass, kick them up in the ass. Whatever they feel as though they allow this person to do, this person blindsided you. You're thinking, you know what? How did you get under my spiritual radar? I must honestly... Be a little bit more specific about examining situations. The question on the first date is like, you know, how, did you like your mom? Did you like your father? These are crucial things. So you could be thinking about the red flags, the things that you missed. The moon is here. This person could intuitively feel as though they don't have a second chance. However, this nine of pentacles is going to turn into the nine of wands. I guarantee you. Very paranoid that this opportunity could not come around. This person's playing some type of waiting game. And they're very, very patient, very calculating. Um, this person feels as though they've studied you enough that they know you. But here lies the plot twist at the end of this commercial break, Divine Collective. You've gone through a death transformation and a rebirth. So you're not even the same person that you once were when you met this person by way of missing the red flags. Listen, in hindsight, you've examined yourself. You did what it is you needed to do. You're doing the, you know, page of pentacles energy. is It's going into your childhood, understanding 
listen, where does this dynamic play out by way of my childhood? Maybe I'm dating the same energy as my father. Maybe I'm dealing with somebody that's like my mother because she's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when birds cry. Prince, I do not own the rights. Rest in peace, Prince. He's a... Uh, Spirit is living on forever. Listen, the four of pentacles. Somebody's holding back. This could be you, honestly. I feel as though somebody feels as though there's a waiting game going on. But they're under this realization now, in this moment, that they're the only ones playing the game. Could you imagine what that conversation could feel like when you have that itself? You're playing this game, this mind game, coming in slow, hoping that somebody, you know, is thinking about you. This person wants attention only to realize that there, there's only one player in the game. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine somebody trying to mentally checkmate a mental genius, a mental giant, and they only get to the understanding after being in the nine of pentacles, slow and coming, speaking upon your name, saying that you're coming back, saying things about you, not telling the truth about the story, the Ten of Cups is in reverse and the Fool. Listen, uh-uh. This person's realizing that they're playing a game by themselves, that you've gotten up from whatever type of, uh, pre uh, I don't know, whatever type of puzzle, whatever type of this mind manipulation, they're playing this game by themselves. You got up from a spiritual game of trivial pursuit. I'm serious. You know, it's giving me that Pepe Le Pew energy, that cartoon. I love you. And it's like, no, this this cat, this skunk, whatever it is, doesn't like you back. It's like you're you're not even in the same building as this person. You've been guided by spirit. Your third eye is open. You know exactly what happened to her. You're at peace with it. You're calm about it. You've healed from it. And it's a real type of a vibration. You're not putting on. You're not playing this game. You're not holding back your energy to get some type of reaction from somebody that's a narcissist that wants to win at all costs. Well, listen, this is the most important thing about this particular spiritual download. All narcissists suffer from demonic possession. That's a fact. Psychology might admit that, but they might not. But that is a fact. Absolutely. Sociopathic energies is demonic. Yeah. And if you ever really look into the eyes of a serial killer, if you dare, there's really nothing in there. It's just something. It's an empty vessel. It's, it's, it's you know, wherever its soul is, it's wandering. It's being tormented by things that are making it do something else. So here you got a narcissist somebody that wants to win at all costs just to say that I'm right. And you're like, no, the spirit that you occupy in that vessel is not aligning up with what it is I need. I don't really see my spirit in you. I don't see the most high spirit in you. I don't see the God in you at a high level. I see somebody that wants to win because what type of person are you that you cannot express your feelings to me? I'm getting away. I've already gone. While you're in this nine of pentacles and you got a date marked on your calendar, when you're going to send a message, you could very well already be blocked. <laughs> this is like a solo bolo type of a game. It's like, surprise, yeah, you're, pay you're playing this game by yourself. The Empress is here. The Empress attracts. The Empress don't chase. The High Priestess, you know, attracts. This person can sense that something new is coming in. While they're out here playing this game, I cannot make it up. Spirit is sending in a divine level, high level, high vibrational, not playing no mind manipulative ass games type of an energy by way of a divine mate. So why this person is playing this mental game of chess, trying to mentally checkmate you, you're long gone. You're a new person. They'd have to reintroduce themselves, but they'd have to be invited to do so first. You're not sending them an invite. The fool in reverse is no contact. The fool in reverse is like, I'm good. Okay, I know who I was by way of being a divine being. Everything I did was monitored. Everything I did was seen by the most high and now our time is up. Yeah, somebody's sitting up like, yeah, I know this person's thinking about me. No, they're not. 
I'm going to be honest with you. They're not. <laughs> They've decided not to squander their energy on a cycle that is already complete. Why would anybody do that? Like where, can we just have a real conversation? What's the conversation like when you sign up to go back into a karmic cycle that's putting you on some type of spiritual demotion? When you get to the, the fool in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse with the divine being, that means that you've done enough to never have an opportunity again in life. They will love you though forever from way over here. But in terms of reconciliation and or being the same people twice, it's a hell to the no. It's a no-go. Listen, <laughs> it's just what it is. Somebody can sense that you have something coming in. Yeah, they know that you're going to have an option between two, but really there's only an option between one. That's you. You and spirit. That's it. And that's one and the same. Listen. <laughs> yeah, there is no going back. To what? Whatever pushed you and thrusted you into some type of an awakening where you could see the situation clear, see the red flags that you missed, and stand accountable for yourself, not blaming this person, and you get to the point where you don't want to talk to them at all, you don't even want to see them, you're hoping and praying that you don't see them around town? Listen, <laughs> I smell that the cycle has been completed. Your work there is done. This is the energy I'm getting. The Ten of Cups is like, nah, boo. It's all good. Don't even trip. You keep that. You keep that love. You needed that. Yeah, this is really stressing this person out. This person could be having chest pains. Oh, order a spiritual mother freaking cord. This person could be having some type of chest pains. It's all anxiety. They're not dying, but they feel as though they are. They can feel. They can feel it. Like you're moving away or you're moving further and further towards what it is that you're supposed to be doing. The high priestess, empress, and emperor, you're going to know your divine partner. The lover is real love coming in, like divine love. And the crazy part is this person is now coming to the understanding that they could be stuck in a karmic cycle. I don't know why the revelations come after the divine being leaves the situation. Then they all of a sudden have these spiritual epiphanies by way of the spiritual amnesia. When you show them perfect love, do you not remember, earth angel, how you nurse that person back to, back to health? Because the Most High told you to do so. So you're really being obedient to the Most High. Everybody wants to be used by God. Right? Until they really got to be used by God. You show perfect love. You're very caring, loving, and kind. You're the, you know, giving the, uh, do you need anything type of an energy. If I'm thirsty, I'm going to ask you, hey, did you want something to drink? Because I'm going to go get me something to drink. If I go get something to eat, hey, uh, 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 did you want something to eat? You're very kind and gracious. This person cannot forget the way you treated them. The Ten of Wands is feeling real heavy. This person could be reaching for you. When I say reaching for you unconsciously in the night, in disbelief that you're not laying next to them. Listen, this person's also thinking about all the times they refuse to show their emotions, their true emotions, by way of playing some type of childish, immature mental mind game. And then you just walked away. Yeah, this person wants to come in and apologize. And I hear you saying, listen, I forgave myself. I forgave you, but you're not getting another chance. You thrusted somebody until their full awakening. This is a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius. Could be a woman, could be a man. But with the Queen of Wands being here, this is definitely a divine union. You thrusted this person into some type of massive ascension or the lack thereof, depending on the energy that they're trying to stay in, you know, by way of playing this game. They have the option to ascend. So if they're still in that seven of swords, hiding their feelings with the lovers, four of pentacles holding back energy, but you're holding back your energy too, deliberately on purpose, constantly and consistently, because you know that's the best thing for you. Whereas they're holding back their energy with the hopes that you're going to chase them. It's a very foolish pursuit. I mean, this person really needs to, you know, get your life, get your life by the balls, get your life by the mother freaking balls. Cause whatever, let me have a commercial break with you. Listen. You saw the last video where I started channeling all that karmic energy and I just seen that Shana. I said, that's enough. That's it. I stepped out of spiritual court. I had to talk with the most high. That video was four, four, four minutes long. Four minutes and 44 seconds. I did not look at the time. I just felt as though it was so necessary that overall that's our energy. Like we're not giving attention to this. We're not feeding it. 
Therefore, it is dying. And somebody knows that. And the Ten of Wands, the further they get, they're losing track of time. This person's saying, won't you wait for me? Wait for you where? I've already left the scene. <laughs> and behind me, I left peace, love, and light. So when I went into the Eight of Cups and I went about my path, follow the yellow brick road. And I'm on the yellow brick road and I click my heels only to realize that I'm home. I had everything that I needed all the way. There's peace that's ahead of me because I left peace behind me. There's love that's ahead of me because I left love behind me. So where I'm going, I have new cycles that I need to complete before I, you know, check out of this, this, this thing we call life. We're just passing through. Keep it real. Keep it a buck. That really sucks. For somebody... They don't know where you are. Somebody could be looking out their window at a distance, wondering if you're driving by there. This person's overthinking. This person's playing mind games. Uh, listen, they're really playing this game by themselves. Whoever you are, I really just recommend that you maybe get some type of ooh, life choices, life skills type of classes. You can Google that to really get rid of this trauma. Somebody that holds back their love to this capacity can become manic, like up and down, you know, with their energy, angry because they love you so much. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you're making this person feel something they did not believe that they could feel. This is definitely a narcissist that you may feel. This person could have been a wandering soul. Somehow you did something by way of being a starseed healer, I just heard. Yeah. Wow, this person says you're the best. My clear audience is so clear. The Six of Cups, this is a past life soul connection. But you got something new coming in. Yeah, listen, I can't make it up, y'all. This is what it is, okay? Six of Cups, upright is Seven of Cups in reverse? Huh? Oh, okay, listen. Six of Cups, this is not your first freaking rodeo with this person, these people, places, and things. It's not your first rodeo. The Seven of Cups in reverse... Is somebody not having an option? They're not one of your options. Seven of Cups usually means, you know, choices and or options, or it could mean illusions, right? Dreaming, fantasizing. For lack of vision, you will perish. A lot of people, you know, let me just, let me say something here just as off the grid, okay? Off the subject. A lot of people don't like the fact that we are using the scriptures out of the Bible, those words are powerful. They don't like it. Somebody mentioned that we as divine beings by way of whatever this, you know, is that we're doing here in the new world by way of being the oracles should not use the Bible. Listen, let me tell you something. Find what resonates with your spirit and do more of that. Because everybody's more concerned about how somebody else is walking their destiny that they forget to live their own life while the car that's on your path, is traveling to wherever you need to be, you off in somebody else's car, trying to get in the driver's seat, getting pushing the most high out the way and telling them, oh, you need to do this, you need to do, listen, you need to point back at yourself. That was just a random commercial break because that energy came through. I will continue to be authentic. I'm not like anybody else. I don't want to be nobody else. We don't want to be anybody else. We are comfortable in our skin. Comfortable who we are. Yeah, listen, that was a remix of Beyonce. Okay, comfortable in my skin. Yeah, too many people are preoccupied with the wrong things. And let me tell you something, they have great intentions. You can absolutely learn from a fool. That was a commercial break. Need to say, let's go back to the reading. I know that was a lot. Rewind the tape if you missed it. Listen, back to this reading. Seven of Cups, this person's no longer an option. The illusions have been broken. This person could have put you in competition only to realize now that they have no options. I just heard this person say, I'm going to die alone. Whoa, okay. <sighs> Somebody's upset that they can't find another version of you or nothing similar to that. Wow, listen. And they're still in the Seven of Swords holding back their emotions. And the nine of pentacles, slow moving energy, but where they're moving to, you surpass that level. Okay, I just love to do the recap, the pop quiz in the middle of the reading. Listen, can't you remember? He wanted a little mozzarella <laughs> on the side. Now he don't have any no options. Little Chiquita or whatever the hell it was. Your little novio, your little novia. 
is looking a little crazy in this cabeza. Listen. Hmm. Toro no que brilla no este oro. That's what I just heard. The grass is not greener on the other side. That's not what that means. It means, como se dice, all that glitters is not gold. But the grass was not greener on the other side. Meanwhile, you have a new beginning. Spirit is giving you a brand new contract. You're very spiritually protected. This person is being backed up by spirit and tormented by your ancestors and their ancestors. You don't have time to play. You're very sharp. Divine masculines, divine feminines, divine collective, divine earth angel babies. Listen, you're very spiritually protected and you're being obedient. You've awakened your divine ancestors within yourself in your bloodline. You are your divine ancestors. The queen of swords is backing things up. It doesn't have time. The truth, the truth, the sword of truth is what I'm getting. It cuts like a sword. Listen, five of pentacles energy. Somebody's out in spiritual hell, jail, chasing their tail. Listen, I told you I'm a tarot card rapper. I'm going to shoot a tarot card video rap. Listen, I need writers, producers, TV shows. Just send me an email. Let's do it. It's only going to cost $1.3 and I'm bringing my entire soul tribe with me, by the way. We all signing the paperwork on this land right here. You think I'm playing. I'm not playing. I'm out here for my people. They're going to let my people go. Okay, back to the reading. And this is why you're not taking a, another leap of faith in the wrong direction. This really does conclude the reading. The chariot is here. You're moving forward, forward, forward. You're moving forward and you're happy about it. I started to say in the last video that somebody is really pissed off that you out here having way too much fun being about your father's work. I meant to say that in the last video, but I just got absolutely disgusted with the karmic energy. I'm like, what is it? It's almost like they're, you know, it's like that fly at the barbecue, right? You're trying to eat your food and that fly just keeps pestering around. This is their energy. So when I stopped it at 444, I said, mm, that video, that little short video was meant to be. I said, that's it. I can't. That's it. We don't care. We really don't care. <laughs> we really moved on. Yes, it's real. Yes, we're happy. Yes, the joy is authentic. <laughs> Listen, somebody don't like to see you smile. And maybe it's because they need to paint the sunshine back into their life. You left them with a whole bunch of sunshine, so much so that they're very, very irritated that they can't get their spiritual fix. Somebody's addicted to your energy. Somebody can't sleep without you next to them. Wow, ooh, that's crazy. I'm sleeping real good at night. I know my divine collective is because I see y'all in the ethers and my dreams. <laughs> whatever is going on it doesn't even matter let's just let it go right somebody doesn't like the fact that you are with your soul tribe dancing in a prancing you know jumping off of pluto somersaulting over the sun right bouncing from from here to there chilling out on planet Ceres, talking to light beings and extraterrestrials some people don't believe it well listen you heard about that mothership that was hovering okay we are the chosen. I don't know what they, what else they want us to be. Listen, you came in as a gift. You came in humble. You came in as a servant. I told you this person has a big ego. It says ego, not to be confused with Lego, my ego. <laughs> I don't own the rights to that slogan. Ego isn't, oh my God, this person. It says it's easier to block everything out right now. I'd rather ignore my emotions. I told you seven of swords energy. Nine of Pentacles is hiding, being sneaky and deceptive about the fact that you deeply, you so damn deep in love, you losing your mind. Mm, mm, mm. Meanwhile, there's one player at the, at the table. <laughs> this person is imagining that you're there and you're not. I'm going to need this person to wake up. Ego. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? What do the angels have to say? What do the angels got to say? This person says guilt. Ooh, this person's like, you know, in and out. I'm also getting a ghost type of an energy. This person says, selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. I won't stay for very long. I'm sorry. You know why? Because this person's having some issues with loving themselves. They don't feel as though they deserve you. This is the energy I'm getting. 
This is why this person is saying, I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. This enrages this person. They don't feel up to par. They don't feel deserving of your love. Wow. But it's like they need it at the same time, right? So this person could be realizing just how codependent they were on you and, and they didn't realize it until they no longer had access to you. Damn. Mistake. I made the wrong turn. And honestly, I just said this. I just said it. Rewind the tape and check it. This says mistake. I made the wrong turn. And honestly, the grass wasn't greener over there. Did I not say that? The grass was not greener with the seven of cups in reverse. Somebody no longer has any options. They're realizing just how much they really didn't have any options now that you're gone. You were the gift. This person could have gotten more abundant, healthier, more spiritual by way of watching you. I just heard this person fought you tooth and nail. But when your time was up, spirit guided you, made a space for you. Yeah. 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 Person stuck with what they did. They're stuck. This person saying, I'll never love again. This person is trying to figure out how they could ever love again. Wow. They want to. They might just end up with somebody that maybe they'll settle for. I don't know if they don't decide to come out of this ego and this selfishness. And when I say ghost, it's almost like this is the type of person that will abandon you, right? Like in the same room with you while you're sitting next to them. Like this person is really, really um, has identity issues, like identity crisis, knowing their authentic self, knowing who they are. Yeah. It's like they don't know who they are now that you're not there. Somebody really felt like they would have access to you forever. This person was very bold. Their ego was very inflated. Yeah. It says intensity. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me. So I run away to process them. Yeah. Yeah. This person's having to go through some type of deep-rooted dark night of the soul. This could be a feminine. This could be a masculine. I'm getting a combination of the two by way of this resonating with a lot of people's stories. It's a common It's a common energy by way of us being in that eight of cups. There's a lot of people feeling this way. I'm getting several people feeling this way. It says choice. I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it does involve you. Listen, this person wants to have a conversation, but they're having this entire conversation in their head. Wow, very cerebral. The narcissist is actually feeling some type of emotion and it's driving them crazy. Isn't that something? You thrusted this person into a real awakening, an empty vessel. You called this person's spirit back to them. They were wandering. They were a slave, unhealed, angry. Yeah. You called this person's Holy Spirit back to them and said, you said, wake up. Remember who you are. This says, sorry, please accept my apology so we can move past this. This person's waiting for you to contact them. But with the fool in reverse, they could be waiting until hell freezes over. Listen, I'm going to try to be sarcastic. Sometimes that's how I get in spiritual court. Mm -mm, personal. This isn't about you. I'm working through some personal issues. Yeah, this person knows that they're the problem. So now that you're in this new beginning, these new options, this new business, this new, 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 you know, it's out with the old and in with the new. This is what you're giving wholeheartedly too, abundantly. And you are full in. You're all in with this new walk and this new path and your soul tribe. Mm. I just heard 8-8. Eight, eight. I keep hearing 8-8. Eight, eight. I looked at my clock when I went out today to go get me a smoothie and it said 8-0-8. I said, spirit. I looked up again. It was 8-18. I'm like, spirit. Something about 8-1, 8-2, August. But that 8-8, eight, eight, these things have to be released. These portals have to open up for new levels. And the fact that somebody can't go with you is putting them in a bout of delusion. This person's trying to imagine how they're going to live without your energy. It's kind of scary. Because all they have to remember is how that 
you know, in every single situation, including the one with you, how they never opened up to anybody, how they never truly ever got that chance to get out of that hiding their emotions type of a feeling. And now here they are 45 years old and alone. This person saying, no, I don't want to be alone. I heard, I also heard, I don't want to be a player no more. I think I found somebody I can live my life for. Listen, it says time. Ooh, baby, time is something you can't get back. I hear the divine collective saying, can you give me my time back? Yeah, okay. No, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to control, I'll delete this experience. I've completed my cycle. There's no hard feelings, love and light. Thank you and goodbye. And you mean it. This is the thing. It's not a fake energy. It's very authentic. It says time. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? Listen, I told you it's a one man game. This person's playing a game with themselves. <sighs> Meanwhile, on a good note. <laughs> what do the angels have to say? I cannot make it up. Nine, nine, nine. Backwards, upside down is six, six, six. In the Bible, 666th page and or passage is about trusting God. Shout out to my beautiful sister who I will call 666. I love you. You're amazing. I'm so glad that you came into my life. Even though we don't talk every day, we absolutely do talk every day. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You saw me shuffle the cards. It says 999, okay? Very significant. Why? Because nine represents the scorpionic energy. That is the scorpion chasing its tail in a circle because what goes around comes around is death, transformation, rebirth. It's an ascension. This is what the nine represents. Shout out to the people that have the life path number nine. I have the life path number nine. That is a fact. People are trying to figure out when my birthday is, but listen, it's okay. My birthday is every day. What sign are you? I'm a stop sign. I stop people's ass in spiritual court. And I prosecute them for violating the spiritual laws. That is my purpose. I'm an anomaly. I'm an illusion. I'm just a little bit of, of a spiritual intrusion. But I'm here for good reasons. Listen, it says, thank the past. <laughs> oh, cannot make it up. It says, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs. So you can make the best of the life that you still have waiting for you. The life still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. <sighs> At the bottom of the deck, I cannot make it up. You saw me shuffle. It's 888. <sighs> I mean, listen, if you could see my face right now, <laughs> can you hear what my face looks like? I'm like, spirit. The signs have been so obvious. I don't even get shocked anymore. I go get something to eat. They're like, oh, it's $10.10. .10. I'm like, really? Okay. Yeah, no, seriously. Something was $22.33, man. I said, nobody's going to believe this. I need to start saving my receipts. But then I thought about the people that don't believe it. And I realized you're not a part of my soul tribe. I'm seeing the synchronicities. You're seeing the synchronicities. <sighs> Eight, eight, you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which brings financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. We're being rewarded by way of what we're bringing in on a prosperous, wealthy type of a level because we have land to buy. We got houses to build. We got kids to homeschool, children to homeschool. A kid is a goat. Just a random fact. Somebody taught me that in the nation of Islam. Shout out to Sister Priscilla. Listen. Salam alaikum. Peace be with you. 8-8. Eight, eight, you're seeing the synchronicities. Inshallah. That means God willing. The Most High is willing when you're willing. This is the message though. I love you wherever you are on the beautiful planet. Until the next video. As always, Mayat, Sekhmet, and all the divine ancestors. Say peace be with you. <laughs>